So now we talk about RPN and how do we compute its cohomology groups. So first recall that RPN has the following structure that is one cell in every dimension. And what is the attaching map? Uh, we know we just identify the antipodal points. Uh, we did the non-standard construction of the sphere. We identified the antipodal points. So identifying two opposite hemispheres is equivalent to having a uh, the attaching map is as good as having a two sheeted covering projection. Yeah, so this two sheeted covering projection is what? It is nothing but the two hemispheres which we, which are identified together because of the antipodal map. So our purpose is to define a boundary map and that boundary map can then be used for the purpose of calculation. So what is the boundary map? So the boundary map <clears throat> the boundary map is in the sense of page 140. So we use a cellular boundary formula where since there is only uh, the boundary map is described in terms of the degree. There is only one cell in every dimension. So the degree map precisely describes the boundary map. So as it is described on page 140 of Hatcher. Yeah. So, so what is a degree map? So first is you attach it and then you project it. Yeah. So we need to describe this projection more clearly. So this projection. So yeah, I'm describing the attaching map of the kth part. Yeah, kth cell. So it's rp k minus 1 over rp k minus 2. What is it? Again, if you see page 140, this is nothing but the, the previous cell complex xk minus 1 modulo the boundary of it modulo the boundary of it see we in the previous lectures we have talked about disk over its boundary so xk minus 1 minus its interior is the boundary so since this is one cell in every dimension you take out from rt k minus 1 you take out everything else so you just leave k minus 1 that is e k minus 1 out yeah so projection map always will have degree 1 so that is what i'm writing here projection map always has degree 1 what about this map? Now this is an antipodal map. So the antipodal map we have seen if it is from SK to RPK then uh, the antipodal map will have degree this. Yeah. So if it was SK to RPK it would be minus 1 K plus 1 but since the exponent is K minus 1 so this becomes minus 1 K minus 1 plus 1. So I'm just writing now expanding the degree thing. Yeah, again, this is done before on the first slide itself, I think. Yeah, so degree of 5, we are going to write again minus 1 exponent k minus 1 plus 1. Again, k minus 1 because the map is acting on sk minus 1. So k minus 1 plus 1 is k. So obviously, this is the following which comes out 0 and 2. Yeah, for k odd and even. So now let us write the cell complex. So what if the nth dimension is even? So that is what we are going to so, uh, your RPN, the N is an even number. So how do we write it? So Z, then it's even. So obviously uh, you have to multiply by 2. So we are writing Z here for every dimension, but for cell in every dimension. So the last exponent N is even. So that is our multiplication by 2. For C0 always it is goes to 0, it's always multiplication by 0. C1 odd, so multiplication by 0. And C2 even, so multiplication by 2. So that is pretty much it for N even. What if the cell complex is odd? So that is it. What is the cell complex if it is odd? N is odd. Now for N odd, I'm going to draw the same cell complex, but uh, the length is different, right? So if the top one is even, then the odd one is either one less or one more. 
so remember the last uh, here I'm going to say it is extra length so to the previous complex you have just attached a Z so this Z think it is extra attached yeah so the last Z is somehow extra in length yeah one length extra and I'm going to copy everything else so I will make this clear again so I'm copying the top chain precisely the same way yeah I've copied it exactly but I have added this extra zero here the last the last zero z times zero I have added to it so again uh, uh, let me mark it down so as to make it clear this is times two this times two precisely comes from the top map yeah so this times two comes from here this times two yeah this times two and this times two are same and this z and z are same this is extra length okay so this should make it clear so the only change happens is in the nth dimension when n is odd so the homology groups are pretty clear for rpn now it is z2 if i is odd yeah because it is always z over 2z for i odd and i is not in the uh, yeah i is odd that's pretty clear and i lies between i uh, yeah between 0 and n so for i equals to 0 obviously it's always z because uh, image of the map coming into 0 or or if uh, i is uh, n is odd i is equal to n which is odd I'm just going to mention it again uh, that i equals to odd is incorrect so n odd yeah and it is 0 otherwise 0 otherwise means obviously for even cell since multiplication by 2 it is 0 this is n odd yeah this you can also see in the bottom chain this n odd will give you integers here yeah so that is pretty much it